Depending on your mileage and personal preferences, you could make an argument that neither of the Wachowski siblings have been involved in directing a movie that could be definitively labeled great since the first installment in the Matrix franchise 22 years ago. Following that, the filmmaking duo have delivered two sequels that had more than a few high points and barnstorming set pieces, but resolutely failed to come close to matching the game-changing original. Super producer Mark Ronson's recent engagement to Meryl Streep's daughter Grace Gummer seems to have him reflecting on his past relationships and his workaholic lifestyle. While discussing his past loves on 35 Ventures CEO Rich Kleiman's podcast, Boardroom, out of office, Ronson wondered, did the relationships not work because I was so driven, or was I so driven because I had a hole in my soul or psyche from something else? What was even driving me that much? Ronson has worked with megastars like Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars and Amy Winehouse, has seven Grammys and even won an Oscar for the song, Shallow, from 2018's version of, A Star Is Born. Those workaholic tendencies became a best friend and my worst enemy at the same time, Ronson said. I was having success. So that's positive reinforcement for being a workaholic too, but I was also using it to run from ST. I was definitely using it because it was a crutch at times. Ronson, 45, says he's realized he has to slow down a bit. Speed Racer, Cloud Atlas and Jupiter Ascending, meanwhile, have all reached cult classic status in the years since their respective releases, yet the critical consensus remains mixed, and all three bombed at the box office. Lana Wachowski flies solo on The Matrix 4, which is scheduled to hit theaters and HBO Max on December 22, and according to one social media user, early test screenings have already been held, which is usually an indicator that the final cut is almost complete. You can check out the reaction below, but it doesn't exactly paint the picture of what's going to be a universally beloved blockbuster. The Matrix Resurrection screened this afternoon and it is weird, meta, engrossing, surprisingly funny, and ambitious to a fault. At some point, if you do want to have a little bit of stability and balance in your life, you have to learn to let go. I expect WOM to be wildly mixed but the people who love it will love it. David Manning, at Viewer Anon, June 16, 2021 You can't fault the Wachowskis when it comes to ambition, mythology or worldbuilding, but their boundless creativity has often been offset by shortcomings when it comes to the actual screenplays. The Matrix 4 should at least be given the benefit of the doubt for now, though, especially when we haven't seen so much as an official image yet, never mind a shred of footage. That being said, the Matrix trilogy initially ended with a whimper rather than a bang, and we've had little in the years since to indicate that either Lana or Lily have learned from their mistakes when it comes to overstuffed narratives and pseudo-philosophical babbling, but we can at least almost guarantee that the action will be incredible. So I think it took me a really long time to figure it out. The producer confirmed his engagement to Gummer last week on the Fader Uncovered podcast. I'm grateful because the person I'm with now is just so fantastic, Ronson said. Whatever had to happen to me to get to this point in life, I'm okay with of course. Adding, but, all that ST back then, I was just kind of running through blind and leaving some people quite hurt in my wake as well.